Good afternoon, everybody. It is about uh, 1230. I'm going to make a quick um, tutorial about beef pho, which is a family favorite. Um, it's something that I eat every Friday with my girlfriend from work, Cheryl. It is a Vietnamese dish, and um, we like it because it's just light and easy and it just feels good on a cold day especially if it's raining and it's a great way to get rid of leftovers so i'm going to start here with a picture of the vegetables that are going to be part of my pho i've grated a a little bit of ginger kept it in pieces um, with a spoon i've grated it off the root i've got some dried almost dried basil it was fresh it's not going to freak me out that's a little um, browned because it's not wet so it doesn't take the flavor away and it doesn't mean that it's going bad it's just dried. I've got some thinly sliced um, celery I've got some shiitake mushrooms some lime and some thinly sliced carrots so this is our filet we had one left over from last night and I've also cut that into bite-sized pieces and it's perfectly cooked as you can see we eat a lot of meat in this house because Kyle's family owned a steak restaurant that they, um, it was called the Peddler Steakhouse. So he loves steak. I do too, but gosh, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> so anyway, I try to get creative with ways to stretch it out if we have any leftovers. Um, first thing I'm going to do is take some noodles that I cooked the other day that are um, some rice noodles. I keep these on hand in the fridge because I like the consistency of them and they're great with um, soups and other things if you want to just top it on a little bit of a salad. They're light and they're delicious and they take on the flavor of whatever you're cooking them in. So if you've got them in beef broth, they'll kind of taste a little more beefy. Same with chicken. And I have used this beef broth that um, friends of mine, Jack and, and Martha, recommended. It is better than bouillon. I did go out and get some right before I kind of got um, a little more, um, when I was a little bit more mobile, I did grab it and I love it. It's one of those things where um, I'm grateful to have it on hand. So I'm going to take the noodles and pull them out once they loosen up and get a little bit um, recooked. I keep them in the bag a little bit at al dente where it's not cooked all the way through, not like it should be. And in whatever soup I'm cooking, I'll just drop them in just to heat them up and get them a little bit cooked, um, cooked a little bit more so that they will um, loosen up and, and be nice and tender. So basically you take the noodles out of the broth and you keep them aside because you don't want them to cook anymore. You just want them to have the flavor of the broth and be something that is at the bottom of your pho that you can add um, to your bowl once you get everything cooked up. So just keep your noodles to the side and put the top back on your broth and let it just cook. The best thing about broth is that if you keep it covered and steam, kind of creates a better, more rich flavor. And you can, um, you just have a better taste in broth the longer that you can cook it. So it's been on the stove top for about an hour. So now I'm gonna transfer my wok over. And this is a wok that I got at Lowe's Foods when they have the stamps for the caboodles. <laughs> it's one of my favorite pieces absolutely love it so the next step is once this broth is continuing to cook we're going to take our um, wok and put a little bit of coconut oil in the pan I hesitate to use olive oil with this because it's just a little too heavy and coconut oil is more like what the ingredients are in the pho it has a little bit more of a of a balance with that so I'm going to add the ginger I'm gonna add the carrots, I'm gonna add the mushrooms, 
and I'm gonna add the celery. I'm just gonna stir fry these for just a bit to soften them up. And then I'm gonna add the beef in, just so it gets warmed up. So what's left on the board now is gonna be your basil, your cilantro, and your lime. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. So in this um, wok, simply heating up the vegetables and the meat, not really doing much of anything else. Just wanna stir fry it to get some of the vegetables a little more tender. That's gonna take a minute. The problem with um, having pho is that you never have the perfect bowl for it. It needs to be a little bit bigger than a regular soup bowl or a cereal bowl, but it doesn't need to be too big. But I'm just gonna use this because it's small, but it lets you have all the the things in the bowl that um, that are going to matter for the taste at the end of the day. So let me put these down and I'll get started with um, putting it together when we come back. All right, so I have sauteed my vegetables and added the meat in here. I wish you could see this better, but it is going to be delicious. I just did a little bit of coconut oil and I did a couple dashes of, um, of um, soy sauce. So the soy sauce is gonna give it a little bit of richness. Um, have my noodles in my pho bowl. And I have the vegetables here that I am going to add. And the first thing I'm gonna do to start compiling it together, if I can get this squared away, thanks for being patient, is I'm gonna take my pho bowl, it has a little bit of the noodles in it, and I'm gonna take it over to the stove top, and I'm gonna put the beef broth on top of the pho. You wanna be generous, it's very light. It's more about the broth and not the heaviness of the broth itself. It's even a little, I watered it down a little bit more than the recipe called for. So then you add your, um, hold on just a second, you add your, um, you add your vegetables on top with your meat. Probably gonna eat half of this. It's just gonna be nice and crunchy. I don't like to blanch the vegetables first because I like for the vegetables to be a little crunchy. You take the basil that you have here. Ooh, that's hot. Can't show it to you very easily, but whoops, poured it out. Here you go. I'm just gonna pick you up. So the, the vegetables are in here, the basil's in there, the soup is on the cutting board, but that's okay, because that's how you cook. You just make a mess and enjoy it while you go. You put a ton of cilantro, a ton of basil, then you take your lime and you squeeze it on top. Now, if you had um, any other kind of vegetables to add to it, block, uh, broccoli dorape is good. There's a ton of recipes online. I like the Nora recipes for pho. They have a really great, um, really great um, list of different types that you can do. It's really good, but you do have to convert the, the, the measurements, which is not so great. So I always end up putting a couple of slices of lime on top. And that, friends, as discombobulated as it is, is beef pho.